and welcome to a new day. I'm Janet Hubert, and I am going to be your host on what we hope will be the beginnings of a great relationship. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the show. A New Day is a magazine-formatted show that will focus on the cosmopolitan contemporary woman. Most of you know me from my days on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and it is amazing since I left, I have been bombarded with comments as to why people identified so much with my character, Vivian Banks. It had been too long since an African-American woman had been portrayed with such dignity, style, and grace as I was allowed to play on the show. So I thought to myself, hey, there needs to be a show about the cosmopolitan contemporary woman. Shows that deal with topics such as micro-living in a small spaces with children. Shows about the ordinary woman. So you're wondering, what in the world is she going to do? Well, you and I are going to leave Masterpiece Studios here in Brooklyn, and we're going to hit the streets. Go out and meet some really interesting people and some fun places. As I prepare to become your host for a new day. It's a new day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I cannot believe I am back at Alvin Ailey's. <gasps> you wait till I get my hands on that guy who said you can always go home. Okay, uh, so I had let myself go a little bit. Well, I consider myself a professional and suck it in my stomach, but this was ridiculous. When I was out in the hallway, I ran into a little dancer who walked up to me and she said, one of the reasons that I started dancing was because I saw you on that episode on Fresh Prince. Right now, I'd like to introduce you to one of the reasons why I started to dance. And that is Denise Jefferson, director of the Ailey School. Thank you, Janet. Ah, it Denise, is such welcome. a pleasure <laughs> to see you again Thank after you. those years of driving you to excellence in my class. Oh, it's she wonderful. Did. She beat me, she beat me. <laughs> you know what, Denise? Um, I'd like for you to tell the viewers, if a little girl, let's say one of these little girls right oh. here, wanted to be a dancer, it was her lifelong dream, what would she do? What would she need to do to do that? Oh, she'd need to come here or be in one of the 10 cities where we audition students to come. We audition all over the United States. I go to about 12 cities a year. You're kidding. And look for talented young people. At what age? And from 12 on up. And if I see younger ones who I think should be encouraged, I talk to those parents and say, give us another two years and then bring your child to us. This year we have 70 young people between the ages of 12 and 15. Oh my gosh. 70 percent who live outside of New York City. Wow. Who are here studying. And their dream is perhaps to dance, to be in the first company. Yeah. They see Judith Jamison walking in the halls, members of the first company teaching class. Uh, we just immerse them right. in our culture, right. in the Ailey culture, and they drive for excellence, that belief in self. You know, Judy is, has been an incredible inspiration because I remember being in Chicago at a concert, and I saw Alvin Ailey for the first time, and I saw Mel Tomlinson and Judy Jamison dance. Oh. That was when I decided, at 22 years old, I'm not saying you know, how many years ago, okay. But that's what I decided, that I wanted, I too wanted to become a dancer. Now, you know what? I call dance the fountain of youth for myself. Mm. And for women who want to find an alternative to exercise, you know, there's Tybo, there's a thigh master, there's right. this, there's that. Tell us why you think dance 
is such an incredible form of exercise. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at you. Oh, thank you. And she's still fabulous. doing it. I'm still dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it is, I, I believe very much that we are uniting the body, the mind, and the spirit in okay. a dance class. It's artistic. And uh, the individual the personhood, what mm -hmm. makes us special and unique, is what comes out. We're not just doing exercises to sculpt the body, but we're bringing out the spirit oh. and the soul. Okay. And, th and there's music. There are other people there, all of whom are expressing what's unique about them. Right. That's why I think it's, um, it is that special fountain of youth. Okay, and with that, come on down to the Ailey School and drink your fill. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you got a lot of teeth and a lot of smiles. It's a new